Welcome to Location, a local news web edition bringing you top stories from a top newspaper. I'm Jamie Santoro. And I'm Casey Minnick, and here's your news now. Several Cabrini students traveled to Ecuador over the winter break to experience poverty firsthand. The 10 students lived on a dollar a day for a week in a small Ecuadorian town. Their trip was one of many campus ministry has to offer. For the full first-hand account, pick up a copy of this week's Loquitur. Since 1980, the average cost of tuition and room and board has grown by 121%. Lenders are raising rates, which limits the availability of private student loans. The 529 plan, a college savings account, has even been criticized for not being able to keep pace with the growth. About 84% of college students have credit cards, carrying balance of more than $3,000 on average, according to Sally May, a private lending agency. A new law set to take effect on February 22nd will bar students younger than 21 from getting credit cards on their own. The Office of Counseling and Psychological Services, located on the first floor of Grace Hall, has two new programs this semester. Connecting on campus and self-discovery through journaling offer two new ways to help reduce stress and anxiety this year. The office is also open to students who want basic counseling from highly trained professionals. For more information, contact Dr. McGeady at stm722 at cabrini.edu. Now let's hear from Haitian National and Cabrini alum Junie Joachim on what Haiti is facing and how Cabrini is raising money to help the relief effort. That the dead they're living among you know, the living or living among the dead. You can't, you know, do a proper burial for your loved one. And it's one thing that, that kind of like really, really gets us, you know, moving and uh, uh, a little bit really emotional. Uh, I think one of the really amazing things about Cabrini's response to the crisis in Haiti is how quickly students came together to uh, respond to the crisis uh, and uh, really exhibit both their leadership as well as their hearts. Means we sat down with Kate Friel and Liz Copaletti. We started planning the event on what we wanted to do. We knew we wanted to do the 24-hour broadcast and we wanted to be around campus and broadcast live from the station. Um, and then kind of the dance and everything evolved from that and we knew we were going to be broadcasting out the games as well so we knew we were going to go to the Dixon Center. When you speak with someone one-on-one -on -one and you make that connection and you see their world, their, the world through their eyes and, and everything that's going on, it, it, it was the most eye-opening experience I've ever had in my three years of being here at Cabrini. Now let's check in with Jake and Gianna with the dirt sheet. What's up all you stars and studs, I'm Jake Veterano. And I'm Gianna Chicatino and welcome to the dirt sheet where we give you the latest in entertainment. Oscar noms were recently announced with Avatar leading the way. The film politely asks audiences to choose me. Currently, the film is the number one grossing film of all time, recently beating Titanic's record. Guess like Jack is off the iceberg. The Grammys were held earlier this week with Taylor Swift winning Album of the Year. She anxiously accepted her award by looking like she was having an asthma attack. I feel ya, girl. Rumor has it that Snooki has some nude photos of her on the internet. I hope pickles aren't in any of the photos. Kristen Chenoweth of Wicked Fame wants to adopt a Haitian child. It seems like she's following the celebrity trend of adopting children from third world countries. Well, she'll need a lot more to catch up to Brangelina. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's all the time we have for you this week. I'm going to watch all the performances from the grannies on TiVo. I'm Gianna Chicatino. And I'm Jake Veterano. The Glamazon. Back to you in the studio. Several Cabrini students volunteered with the Eastern Pennsylvania Special Olympics second annual Polar Plunge. Now let's check out the sight and sounds from that event. <laughs> it's really cold out. <laughs> this is a great success. A wonderful time. <laughs> Yeah. 
Now let's check in with Liz with the weather. Hi guys, it's Liz Scafletti and I'm here to report your weather. I'm outside on the commons right now where there was once snow but no longer is here. Um, looking at the next few days, Thursday there's supposed to be gorgeous sunny skies. The highs in the upper 30s and the lows in the 20s. Friday there's going to be lots of clouds unfortunately with highs in the 40s and lows in the 20s. Saturday, there's supposed to be a huge snowstorm. Now, it's not 100%, but there's a 90% chance. Um, highs in the lower 30s and lows in the teens, so bundle up. And to end your weekend on Sunday, it's going to be a so-so day with a mix of sun and clouds, highs in the upper 20s and lows in the teens. That's all I have for you today. Back to you in the studio. And here's your news from around the world. The world's number one automaker, Toyota, has issued a worldwide recall of the gas pedal of some of their best-selling models, such as the Corolla and Tundra. Estimated total of vehicles recalled is an astounding 4.45 million cars. Repairs are to begin in a few weeks. Apple announces its newest product to the market with the iPad. The iPad is a 9.7-inch multi-touch tablet device that will be available in late March. Haitian officials have arrested 10 Americans on illegally trying to take 33 children out of the country. A member of Central Valley Baptist Church of Meridian, Idaho said, the intention was to simply go down and try to be an aid in ministering to children that had been orphaned in the quake. It was our intention to be part of a new orphanage. And that's your news from around the world. And now here's Nick with your sports. What's going on all you sports fans? Nick Goulden here with your two minute drill. After 12 amazing seasons in the NFL, Kurt Warner has announced that he will not be returning for another season with the Cardinals. Warner said at a press conference on January 29th that he wants to be remembered as a person who believed. Things did not always go in his favor, but with his faith in himself and his faith in God, he was able to accomplish great things. Warner is ranked among the top quarterbacks of all time in career passer rating. Jose Contreras signed a one-year, $1.5 million contract with the Phillies last Thursday. Contreras will start spring training in the rotation, but is expected to open the season in the bullpen. Contreras will have to beat out Jamie Moyer or Kyle Kendrick to grab the fifth spot in the rotation. And now it's time for the game of the week. The men's basketball team played Baptist Bible and took control of the game from the start. Cabrini looked to push the floor early and wasted no time in tallying up on a weaker Baptist Bible team. With some strong play by all the starters such as Kevin Misabicious, who had 11 points in 11 minutes of play, Cabrini quickly elevated the score as they showed their dominance on offense and defense. The Cavs were on a hot streak as a team and looked as if they couldn't miss. Their passing was crisp and looked as a team that had been playing for years. With the score climbing higher and higher, Coach Marcus Kahn looked to rest the starters and sent in a new set of players. Even with the players coming off the bench, they still dominated and were able to find each other out on the floor. Even as the game progressed, it didn't slow them down. Cabrini was able to close out a victory of 79-50, as well as staying first in the CSAC. The Cabrini women's basketball team won its fourth straight on Saturday afternoon against Centenary College with a score of 68-64. Alyssa Brady finished with a team-high 22 points, assisting the girls in a big victory. 
Also, senior point guard Deanna D'Amico scored her 1,000th career point on Monday night against Rutgers Camden. She scored 27 points in the Cavs' 70-50 win. That's all I have for you this week. Tune in next week for more sports coverage. Thanks for watching this week's Web Edition. Be sure to tune next week for another great episode. I'm Jamie Santoro. And I'm Casey Minnick. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> <laughs>